The three-month-long water crisis in St. Lucia has officially ended. The nation entered a state of emergency in May 2024 due to a severe water shortage caused by prolonged drought conditions. This prompted island-wide restrictions, limiting treated water use to essential needs after water levels at the John Compton Dam dropped significantly. However, according to Minister for Agriculture Alfred Prosper, water levels have since returned to normal, marking the end of the emergency. Last week, the Cabinet of Ministers, based on a recommendation from the key stakeholders, that is Water and Sewage Company, the um, meteorological services and the other stakeholders took a decision to revoke the water-related emergency effective immediately. So all the restrictions we had in terms of use of water during the water-related emergency has been lifted and now people are free to use water as normal. The minister has continued to encourage judicious management of water moving forward as it remains a vital natural resource. I'm not saying because we relocated it that you can just go and use water lavishly. You must understand this is a very, very important resource, resource to our country. But at least we were able to take that decision to ensure we as people of St. Lucia continue to get a reliable source of water. And this happens because we know we have these two distinct seasons, a dry spell and a wet period. Now we are, going, we are going through the rainy season and the Water and Sewage Company and the other stakeholders are of the view that our water intakes, especially the Rosa Dam, have been replenished and now we are in a position to, be, to revoke it because we are comfortable that the levels are sufficient to maintain life as we have been doing. This experience underscores the importance of sustainable water management and preparedness in the face of environmental challenges. For Choice News Now, I am Quintagis.